All right. So to do a grade calculation, you guys, this is something you should be able to do in any class that weights their grades. And I will tell you that most of your high school classes and college classes will weight grades. And remember, that means they're saying, like, out of, a, out of your semester grade, 80% is test quizzes, 10% is daily work or homework, and 10% is your final exam. That happens to be the weight in our class. So any class that says that, you should be able to calculate your final grades as long as your teacher's up on their grading. They've got everything in, which I'm telling you, everything for you is in with the exception of your final and any extra credit you've done for Brain Genie. So what we're going to do, this shouldn't take long, daily work, we're going to say, we're going to put our percent categories right here. That's this area. Our daily work is worth 10% of our final grade in here. So that's a multiplier of 0 0.10. OK. Our tests and quizzes are worth what percent in here? 80%. 0 0.80 is our multiplier. And our final exam is worth 10%, a multiplier of 0 0.10. That means. Out of the 100% that everyone wants in a class, out of the 100% everyone wants, the most you can earn from your final exam is 10%. Okay? The most you can earn from your tests and quizzes are, is 80%. So if you get nothing here and nothing here in daily work, and you ace every test and quiz, you got a 80% in the class. You got a B minus. If you get nothing here, a zero on all these and a zero here, you get a 10% if you did all your daily work and got all your points. You get a 10% in the class. You got an F, unfortunately. Okay? Everyone get that? Mm -hmm. if, you date, if you're like, dude, I'm too good for the final, I just don't believe in doing that, and you choose not to take this, and you ace this and this, what percent did you get? 90. 90. Now, some of you look at your grades right now and go, whoa, I have 100% in the class. That means if I don't even take the final, I get a 90%. You're right. The lowest grade you can possibly get in this class now is an A minus. Okay? That is key. And just so you guys know, your breakdown of grades, 92 is the cutoff for an A. 92 and higher equals an A. 88 to 92. 91.99, you know? Yeah. Okay? Is B plus. I guess that's 91.99, but you guys get it. Okay? 82 to 88 is B. Isn't that A minus 90 to 91.99? Oh, did I forget that? Yeah. Oh. 92. Oh. Unbelievable. That should be 90 there. Sorry. 90. Okay, A minus. My apologies. I guess this like so. Just so we're clear, in our class, 10% daily work, 80% test quizzes, 10% final exam. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take, and I'm going to use one of these sheets. This is not anyone in this class. Okay, but this is a. Th these are my grades. Let's say. My grades right here, if I'm looking at my progress report, the top of my progress report, it shows daily work, final, test quiz exams. Okay. Now, in our class, I have earned 343.5 out of 580 points. Now, all this other, this area up here, I've given you extra space to add assignments if you're going to, but we can't, we don't have any other assignments to add right now. So really, I've earned that many points. And if I actually divided 343.5 by 580, I would get 59.22. It's so nice of the, ca the computer to actually do the math for me. But if you don't believe it, you can check the computer's math. And you divide this by that, you get that. 59.22. So that, that's my percent for that category. That's not good. That means in my daily work, I earned an F in daily work this semester. Okay, now how many of you are doing Brain Genie? Okay, Brain Genie, this is where you can earn points back. Like when I look at this, I can earn about 230 points, 236 and a half points back. 
right? I've lost out on 236 points. There's just over 200 objectives available to you on Brain Genie right now. So technically, I can earn all these points back if I work my tail off and try to get Brain Genie done. Some of them are easier, some of them are not. But right now, let's say, you know what, brain, that seems like an awful lot of work for me. I'm kind of a busy guy. I can't do that. And that's okay if that's you. So we go 59.22, that percent. Notice I didn't make it 0.5922 because I'd have to multiply by 100 later. So I just said 59.22 times 0.1. I get 10% of this percent, really, is what you're doing towards my final. And I round. I'm saying I get 5.92 points. This extra 2 I'm just throwing off because I don't want I'm not going to I'm not going to go any past the hundreds and I'm not rounding up ever because I want the worst case scenario. 5.92. That means if I got zeros and everything else I get a 5.92% in this class. That means I've missed out on how many percentage points in daily work? Yeah, about four-ish, right? 4.08. That means if I did all the brain genie and got this up to 100, this would be now 10. That means I could potentially change my grade nearly 4% by doing brain genie. You keep that in mind as you calculate your final grade when you're like, what can I do to get my grade? Well, this is an area you still control, have some control on. OK, yes? If you're at a hundred, if you're at a hundred percent right here, and you have ten, you don't do brain genie. You're not getting anything over ten here. I mean, unless you just want extra practice. Your thing actually says more than a hundred percent right here. Okay. When you carry this over, when you're done, it'll only you'll only get ten percent. So if you got over a hundred percent right here, the most you'll ever get. Is 10%, even if it says over 100 right here. That's stupid. Okay? The most you'll ever get from that category is 10%. So you can't get over 100% in the class? That's correct. You can't get over 100% in the class, in other words. Okay. We understand that? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Next piece tests and quizzes. Those are set in stone. My test and quiz category right now is 369 out of 501. That is a 73.65%. I get 80% of that percent. Okay? When I get 80% of that percent, 73.65 times 0.8, that gives me 58.92. That is what I earn from test quizzes. That's how many percent I've earned. So I had a C here. It gave me 58.92 percentage points towards my final grade. Can I, can I change this? No. no. All right. So I now have two grades. I have my daily work grade and my test and quiz grade. My daily work grade I somewhat control still. My test and quiz grade I do not control at all any longer. When I add these two categories up, on mine I get 5 point, or 58.92 plus 5.92. That gives me a grand total, I'm just going to write it right here, 64.84. If I choose not to take the final, this will be my grade in the class. Ooh, that's bad. I will get a D. I will earn credit, but I will have to repeat this course because it's an advanced course. Okay, I get a D in this course. So right now, what you're looking at when you add these two categories up without any brain genie in for, to adjust this, what you're looking at is what your grade will be with a zero on the final. That is with a zero right here. This is when you get to do the what if game. If I say, if I, if I go, well, hey, I want to I wanna get a B. I, what do I need for a B minus? 80. Dude, I'm like 15 percentage points away. Can I earn 15 percent? Well, what can I earn on this? 10. 10. That's the highest I can earn. I, I want to be. Well, too bad. 
You can't get a B anymore unless you somehow adjust this. And I can't get enough points to get it up to. I could get it up to a C plus, a high C plus, but I cannot get that up to a B minus now. It is impossible. Okay? What's the highest grade I could get? I could get 10% higher, right? If I, got, if I earned all 10, if I got 100% right here, that would be 10 points. That would make this then a 74.84. What's the lowest grade I could get to get a C? Like if you want to play, well, what if, like what if I just want a 70? Like I need to get a C minus to keep my phone, you know? My, my parents take my phone if I get below a C minus. I don't care anything about my, except my phone, you know? I, okay, you need a 5.16. So you need a 51.6. 5.16 here to get a 70%. That means this would have to be a 51.6. You need a 51.6% on the final to keep your phone, if that's your rule. Okay, you should be able to play the what if game. And if you're doing this and you're like, I don't like that, man. I need to get at least a C plus. Well, I know. I know if I'm like, well, I'm going to keep my 100. And I need to get at least a C plus because then I can justify that, you know, I worked hard at the end and I, I need to get up to at least a 78%. Well, 77 is over, excuse me, a 78% is over 10% of this, right? It's like 13 and a half or so. Okay. Well, 13.15, can I get enough out of this? Can I get the extra three out of this? Yeah, yeah I can. I've just got to work at it, doing that. You guys should, you, you're smart enough math students to be able to figure out any grade for any class as long as your teachers have their grades updated. This progress report, you should be able to pull this off family access, be able to get your category totals. Okay? Now some of you are looking at this and it stressed you out because you're like, man, I got to do a lot of work now on Brain Genie. Some of you are looking at it going, yeah, I'm home free. Score. Okay, I can't even mess myself up on this final. Okay, some of you are like, well, it's pretty much what I thought. Okay, but at least you know now. All right, that's how all your grades are calculated that are weighted. Okay, any questions? All right, if you have questions on it, come and talk to me. Attention back up here real quick. Eli brought up a good point. You guys, looking at this, looking at this right here, this progress report says 62.05 is what I, or 72.05. That's what it, says, what it says I currently have with a zero on my final. Well, really, it's not calculating a, a, my, a zero percent on my final. It's not calculating the final at all. Notice it says zero out of zero. Right now, it's t saying in daily work, rather than having 10%, they're giving me 11%. They're adjusting it to take up this extra 10%. They do that on daily work and tests. That's why this percent looks different than the 2%, the daily work and tests that you added up. As soon as I put a score in for the final, this grade's changing. If I put a missing score right now for this final, this grade is dropping to a 64%. 64. 64. No, it's 64, right? The one I just calculated. Is that this? The 64.84. Excuse the uh, wrinkle now. Okay? It's dropping to those because it's not adjusting these weights anymore. Right now, it's adjusting this weight to 11 and this weight to 88. Okay? So what you've calculated should be accurate. Right? Don't let this skew your thought. Okay.